What's up fellow gamers, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. In today's video, I just wanted to talk about a new trailer that just dropped. It's for a game called Chrono Odyssey. Now this trailer looks fantastic, there's so much to unpack. So first, I want you guys to get all caught up. I'm gonna play the entire trailer and then we're going to talk about it. So let's unpack this. First of all, let's talk about the graphics. They are obviously top tier, top of the line. Everything looks fantastic. The lighting, the environment, and the fact that this is an open world. I think a lot of people will be drawn to this game. Now, if we talk about the gameplay, honestly, that's all over the place. When I first saw the trailer, I thought this was a Souls-like. As you can see, we have very Souls-like combat except with maybe a little bit more grandiose moves, but it looked very much like a Dark Souls 3 type of combat. As the trailer progresses, things become very, very different. 
In the next gameplay segment, we see a different style of combat that reminds me more of God of War. Very, very flashy. We see some magic that reminds me of Dragon Age Inquisition. And then the Barbarian is using abilities you would see in God of War. So the combat looks unique, but it looks like it was inspired by many other games. Now, where things take a turn for me is when they start showing the multiplayer combat. Personally, I'm not too crazy of games where you have like five or six people bashing at a huge boss over and over. That's not my thing. The game looked very promising when it was one player combat. But then again, maybe it's a MMO that you don't necessarily have to do raids with a team. You can do most of the game by yourself. I would really enjoy that, but then that defeats the purpose of an MMO in the first place. So then we have the fight with the dragon. Honestly, in my opinion, it doesn't seem too impressive. I don't know why, but just seeing 60 people wailing at a dragon, it doesn't really do it for me. I know graphically it looks really nice, but that's just not the type of gameplay I'm interested in. Now, the next part of the trailer is actually very interesting. This is where we see the chrono abilities, where you are able to stop time and also to rewind it. And this looks like it could add some very, very interesting gameplay mechanics if it's done properly. So overall, this game seems very interesting, seems very, very promising. It depends how much of the MMO aspects are in there for you. If you're there for that, if you're someone that loves World of Warcraft, then maybe this will be for you. I personally am very interested in the combat. It just depends how much MMO elements they shove down your throat. Now let's take a look at the website and let's see if we can find some more information on this game. It reads, at first glance, Satira may appear as peaceful, beautiful land filled with nature. However, Satira is also now the frontier of the war against the void, which has been ongoing since the beginning of time. This land is filled with the dangers and chaos caused by twisted time and space and contradicting timelines. These same dangers provide countless mysteries and opportunities not afforded to any other world. Uncover the secrets behind Satara's timeline and find a way to save everyone including yourself sounds like a very interesting plot line now let's talk about the factions so here we have the guardians those who protect satira under the guidance of the great ones we have the void otherworldly invaders that reject the existence of life itself we have the broken those whose bodies and minds have succumbed to void contamination we have the outcasts, those who are all the more threatening for their humanity. And we have the world movers, those who had the strength to survive and lay roots in Satira. Now these factions seem very well thought out. If I were to choose one, I would obviously choose the void. Now let's talk about the item that manipulates time, the Chronotector. The Chronotector is a powerful artifact said to have been created by a mysterious ancient civilization known only as the Great Ones. It holds the power to warp and manipulate space-time to the holder's will. Though it has lost much of its original strength, it is still capable of twisting time and space to create effects irreplicable by even the world's most powerful magic. Now this seems like it's going to be very very interesting and will be a pivotal part of the gameplay. I wonder if that ability will be on cooldown because if you are able to spam it all you want it would be overpowered. But that's pretty much it for the video. Honestly, I don't know what to make of this game. For one, I'm so excited because of the combat, the graphics, it looks so great. But it's an MMO and that's really not my thing. But hopefully it'll be able to cater to both crowds, the MMO lovers and the people that aren't too crazy about it, and be a solid game. I guess we'll have to see when it comes out or when we get more details. Thanks so much for watching everybody. If you enjoyed the video, put a thumbs up. And if you didn't, put a thumbs down. And I'll see you guys on the next video.